Hi everyone, it's Lauren from Lauren and Lucy, and today I'm going to be baking pretzels for you guys. So enjoy! So what we start with is some yeast. We're tripling the recipe, so that's why it looks like a lot. And then here's some hot water. Whisk, whisk, whisk! Gotta have some fluffy pretzels. Then we're gonna add some sugar. I'm gonna put the whole original recipe on the bottom so that everyone can see it. Keep whisking until it's super bubbly. Almost there! You have to melt some butter, about three tablespoons. And pour it in your yeast mix. Okay, so now we're adding some flour to the yeast mixture. And again, we are tripling this recipe, so we are making a lot, but I will put the original recipe so that you all can make it at home. Ooh, it's getting doughy now. So you just gotta keep kneading your dough for a good five minutes. After you've kneaded the dough for a good five minutes, you just pick it up and roll it into a ball, and then we let it rest for 15 minutes. So while the dough is resting, just made a baking soda bath, which is just some water, baking soda, and salt. So I just moved the pot of the baking soda water into here because the pretzels are going to lay inside of the baking soda water. So while the dough is resting, I'm gonna work on my dance moves because Lucy's the best dancer that I know and I gotta keep up with her. So I'm gonna give it a try. The Lucy shimmy <laughs> and the booty shake. <laughs> Am I doing it right, Lucy? Your favorite. The sprinkler, air guitar. So I just put some flour on top of the countertop and we are flattening it out and then we're gonna cut it into sections for our pretzels. What's in the middle? Cut it like a pizza. A pepperoni pizza. So once you have cut your dough into pizza slices, then you cut them a little bit smaller to make as many pretzels as you'd like. So we're just making little skinnier strips like that. So now we take one of those strips and we just roll it nice and long. and fold it like a pretzel. Ta-da! And once your pretzel's formed, you put it in the baking soda water for two minutes. So once some of them have been sitting for a little bit longer, you take them out and you put them on the baking sheet with some salt on top. Okay, so this baking tray is all done. They're salted and time for the next one. So both of the baking trays are full with the pretzels and we're going to put them in the oven at 475 for 8 minutes. Okay, so I'm going to transfer the ones that just came out of the oven, the pretzels, into a, onto a cling rack. Okay, so I'm just going to brush these pretzels that are cooling on the cooling rack with some butter and sprinkle with some salt. Pretzels are all done. Time for the taste test. Oh, they look delicious. Oh my goodness. So good. Alright, here we go. That's a good pretzel. Hope you guys enjoy. Stay happy and stay healthy. Bye guys.